Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, today we are gonna be doing a mini makeover on my dining room table. So I am just first giving you a little overview of what the top is looking like. It is very, very well loved. This table has been in my family for about 100 years. It has been passed down through the family and my grandma gave it to me a few years ago and I painted the bottom with chalk paint a few years ago when she gave it to me and I did a light um, gel stain on the top but it didn't hold up very well. So I'm gonna be making over this table today. Um, at first I thought I was going to be repainting the bottom but after cleaning it all off with a degreaser, I really liked the distressed look still, so I ended up deciding to just leave it as is. I love the chippy, like I said, distressed, kind of rustic look, so I decided to leave that as I really like how it looks, and it really goes with my decor style. So instead of painting that a solid white, I decided to leave it how it was, but we are going to be sanding down the top wood portion of the table and putting a new stain on there and sealing it all up. So let's go go ahead and get started this first clip here I am just cleaning everything off with my jaws kitchen cleaner that is a great degreaser I purchased this mini sander from Amazon. I will have it linked below for you guys and it did come with the sandpaper pads that just Velcro on there. So I used the 80 grit sandpaper to get the finish off of the top of the table and get it down to bare wood. And then later on, I will put on a more fine sandpaper to get it really smooth. While I was sanding the table top down, I actually really loved how it looked with just the original light color raw wood. So who knows, maybe one day if I change my decor style or we have some lighter wood in a house in the future, maybe I will refinish it again and do more of a natural stain on there. But I really wanted to keep the kind of almost original color of the top of the table and do a dark stain to match the doors that we have in our house, which you will see at the end of this video when I show you the overview of how everything turned out. Um, I did match the stain pretty closely to the doors in our house, so I do love how it turned out, but I really love the natural wood look with the light color on the bottom of the table as well. I don't know which way I'm going I don't need to As long as I don't have to stay with you Fill me up with broken promises
The stain that I am using for the top of the table is this Rust-Oleum wood stain in the color Kona. And then I'm going to be using this Minwax one coat polyurethane. I did end up doing more than one coat on it, but it is a triple thick polyurethane. And I just applied both of these products with a sponge paintbrush. I typically like to use the rag method for staining, just dipping the rag in the stain and then rubbing it on and wiping it off. But for this project, I decided to paint it on with the foam paintbrush. And then I will take a rag and wipe off the excess. Once I'm done staining and wiping off the excess, I'm gonna let that dry for an hour and then it is going to be time to seal the table. So I'm using that polyurethane that I showed you guys just a little bit ago and applying it with a sponge brush in a 
even coat and then I'm gonna let that dry according to the dry time on the back of the can and then I will take a sanding block and just lightly scuff it up and then do another coat of the polyurethane The next morning I came out and used my little sanding block and just lightly scuffed up the surface of that polyurethane that was dried and then I'm going to put another coat of polyurethane on there and I am not going to sand the final coat just because I wanted a glossy look but as you'll see after I scuff this surface up and wipe it down it does have a really nice smooth finish but it's more of a matte finish which you can totally leave it that way also I think it looks great like that but I wanted to go for a more shiny finish so that's what I did I am not a hundred percent sold on the shiny finish although I do really like how it turned out I may end up doing a light scuff with the sanding block eventually but for now I went ahead and did a second coat of polyurethane and let that dry and just left it super glossy and shiny and I do think it looks really good that way also
So now I am showing you guys a finished look in the dining room. I do love how the table looks in the house now and it's not too terribly different than it was when I started, but it's definitely darker. It kind of matches the wood tones of the doors in our house a little bit better. And then I did recently get this new rug from Amazon that I will link down below for you guys and I think it pulls all of the wood tones together and I just really love how it all looks now that I have that done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. But thank you again and I will see you in my next one. Bye!